Good afternoon, my name's Braden Rent from Second Life and welcome back to the third part of the uh, mesh tutorial on how to make a sofa for Second Life. Uh, I've not done anything to the sofa since the second part of this tutorial, uh, so what I'm going to be doing today is I'm going to be finishing the modelling before we move on to unwrapping. There's not an awful lot left to do uh, on the modelling side of the sofa uh, other than just sorting out the proportions and making sure that everything's in scale uh, to each other. Uh, the first things that I've noticed is the back seats are quite tall in comparison to uh, the proportion of the thickness of the uh, the seat cushions. So what I'm going to be doing is I'll select this vertice here and I'll select it all with a control L. Okay, now we've selected the whole seat cushion, I'm going to use uh, the border select, which is B. I will then press Alt and I'll deselect the top level of the cushion and I'll move the bottom level up slightly. What I will do then is I'll again press the bottom cushion, I will press Control L and select the whole item and then I'll scale on the Z axis like that and then we'll move that up only a slight bit right now we've done that we need to actually uh, extend the arms slightly uh, so again I've selected whole item and I'll deselect the front and I'll drag the back out like that right you will notice though on the model at this present moment it's still got the mirror modifier on and at the moment the shading is still on flat so you see every single face as such now we can actually remove that by uh, highlighting the model and selecting smooth shading and as you can see it, it clears it up substantially uh, what we're also going to be doing is we're really just going to be going over making sure that there's no real problems with anything that we've done uh, I'm actually going to clear up uh, the front of this arm as well uh, there's some parts of it that I'm not overly happy with so uh, if you bear with me just a moment So I'll just go into face select mode, it'll be quicker. Right, okay. Right, so if you press C, you can actually paint them out. Like so. Right, and escape to get out of that. I was going to remove any of the ones that shouldn't have been selected within that process like that right we've now got the uh, the middle ones and what I'm actually trying to do with that is uh, I just really want to scale them out uh, so I think what I will do is I will select those ones uh, around the edge like that and then I'm going to scale them to Y okay so now that I can be certain that they're all flat uh, I'm now going to be checking over to make sure that everything else is uh, is all okay I think I might need to do a little bit extra work on the uh, on the curvature of the arm here so I'm going to select all of those and deselect the bottom of the cushion. Like that. I'm just going to drag that up slightly so it, it clears that. And then I'm going to reselect and I'm going to go back into uh, limit selection visible and I'm going to rotate slightly. Grab it and move that down. Actually, we might be able to just move it up and move the cushion up instead. 
grab on C. Right, okay, you could put in more loop cuts and knife cuts to curve uh, this area uh, more so if you wished. Uh, I'm not going to do it in this tutorial because we, you can get kind of bogged down in detail. Uh, and of course as you start doing so your vertical count goes up and up and up and up. Uh, I've tried to stay within the middle ground on this and, and not make it too low prim. Uh, well, low vertice really, uh, purely for the fact that uh, it is just a, a very quick and easy sofa tutorial. But I am going to clean up a few uh, a few things uh, just to make them uh, cleaner on the the actual model itself. Right, okay. So we've done this. Uh, I'm just going to quickly scale over it just to make sure that everything's okay. Right, be relatively confident that it is all right. I'm now going to go into object mode and I'm going to apply the mirror modifier. This now adds both items together uh, from both the left and the right uh, sections. I'm now going to uh, select all of the right side, drag it over so we haven't got that uh, such a big gap in there. And I'm now going to add a bottom part to the sofa base. So we can do that just by creating a uh, a cube. We'll grab that, and move that down, and I'll scale it on Z like so. Grab it again, and uh, I'll deselect the bottom of that, and then just grab the top down. All right. Once we've got that, I can scale it on X, and we'll take it out to the sides. Uh, just deselect that. This part in. This will be the actual seat uh, seat base. Uh, it doesn't have to be very flash, uh, so it should be relatively quick and easy to do. Uh, I wouldn't spend lots and lots of time on trying to detail it out because, to the most part, you're not going to see it. Uh, again, it's similar with the back, you could put uh, more panels in. Uh, you can make it look as, as flashy as you want. Uh, again, I'm not going to bother. The same uh, the same system is is the same. You can just put in a uh, you can put in a, uh, a a box into there, and everything will be great on that. So what we've got is we've got a seat base like so, and uh, everything should line up relatively easily. We can see there though from the side. Uh, we do have an issue with it not being straight. Uh, what I can do is I can select that and just deselect the box. Make sure that isn't part of the uh, the scaling. And we can grab it and move it on X and straighten it up a little bit. There we go. And of course, because we've no longer got a mirror, we have to do that on both sides. So I'll select the box and I'll hide that. And I'll rebox out selection. And uh, we can grab and move that back on X. I'll also unhide. Okay, that looks about right. Okay, uh, we can put a little bit of detail into there if we wanted to. Uh, I don't really see there's much need for it, but you know, again, personal choice is quite important. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put in a loop cut there, uh, and then I'll add a, another loop cut halfway. We still will do when it lets me. Okay, I'm going to grab this and I'm going to hide it so it doesn't get in the way. So we'll add another loop cut in there and we'll bring that down and I'll add another further two loop cuts one there and one there and we'll select both and I'm going to scale them in like that 
Uh, I'm not going to square them on Z. And that should give us a recess on the seat bottom. You may want it thinner, you may want it thicker. Again, you may want it deeper. It's really down to you. Right, okay. So that's really finished our modelling uh, stage of this tutorial. Uh, the next part, we're going to be moving over uh, to unwrapping. Uh, I might actually just before I finish uh, just grab these two vertices and select and then I'm going to deselect those parts. Edge select on those and similar on those. Nobody likes a lame cushion, so I'm, I'm just going to just drag it out a little bit more. Make it a little bit more uh, more shapely, and I'll also uh, do the same with the top part so we just scale it slightly like so um, right okay so let's say there's the uh, there's the seat cushion uh, as you can see we've we've now pretty much finished the modeling part of uh, of the sofa if you want to put feet on it you can do so uh, it's relatively fast but for now, uh, I'd like to say thank you, and I'll see you in part four when we'll start looking at unwrapping. Bye-bye.